The fifth dimension isn't a place you go, it's a state of being, a level of consciousness you embody. And guess what? You might already be there and not even know it. So how can you tell you're living in the fifth dimension? Here are some signs. If you feel like the world you once knew is collapsing around you, remember you're not alone. Awakening is happening. We're all witnessing extraordinary times. It's not a phase of destruction, but a period of awakening. A, a divine shift. In the words of an old saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. You see, we've been living in a 3D world, a physical, tangible reality that we can touch, see, and hear. But as the Earth and its people are evolving, we are transitioning into a 5D reality. This is a non-physical realm accessible primarily to those who are spiritually awakened. It's a place where love conquers fear and unity supersedes division. In this incredible journey, your senses become fine-tuned, attuning to new frequencies. Your perceptions broaden, allowing you to see the unseen and hear the unheard. This is akin to upgrading the software of your soul. And just like with any update, you can expect some glitches, what you might call ascension symptoms. People around you might be reporting unusual sensations, shifts in emotions, or unexpected health conditions. While some may disregard these as odd coincidences, they are in reality manifestations of an underlying change the upgrade of our spiritual and physical systems. This is not a phenomenon to fear, it is a celestial alignment with your higher self. For ascension to happen, shadow work is inevitable. In simple terms, you've got to face your fears, confront your pains, and journey through your underworld. By embracing the darkness within, you find the courage to step into the light and ascend. One of the most challenging aspects of this transformation is the dissolution of the old, the crumbling of the 3D life you knew. Relationships might end, careers could change, and friendships may dissolve. And as difficult as this can be, it's a necessary part of the process. As the 3D elements of your life disintegrate, they make space for the 5D realities to take form. It's not easy to let go. It's human to feel attached to the familiar. However, the pain of saying goodbye pales in comparison to the joy of meeting your transformed self. When you reach the other side of this transformative journey, you'll realize your new life is the one you've been dreaming of all along. In essence, your life isn't falling apart, it's realigning with a grand design, a higher purpose. It's making way for the truer, braver, and more enlightened version of you. Hold on to the vision, but let go of the circumstances. Your old life isn't collapsing, it's shedding its leaves to let a more robust, beautiful tree grow in its place. As you elevate spiritually into the 5D realm, your soul becomes sensitive, finely tuned to different frequencies and vibrations. During the spiritual upgrade, toxins in your life start to stick out like sore thumbs. These toxins aren't limited to substances like alcohol or junk food. They extend to toxic relationships, environments, and even thought patterns. To put it simply, these elements no longer resonate with you. Your body might react by feeling unwell, your mood could sink and you may find yourself more irritated than usual. You become like a finely tuned instrument, and the toxins are the discordant notes. It may seem counterintuitive, but sometimes stepping away from certain people or situations is the most loving thing you can do for yourself and for them. Daring to set boundaries is about having the courage to love yourself even when you risk disappointing others. By distancing yourself from toxicity, you're not saying you don't love or care for these people or things you're saying you love yourself more. And there's nothing wrong with that. Prioritizing your well-being isn't selfish, it's necessary. If you don't maintain your inner peace, who will? Your mental equilibrium isn't just a part of you, it's the core of your well-being. When your mind is at peace, your body follows suit and your spirit soars. Embracing a 5D existence means making your peace of mind non-negotiable. You realize that your mental health is your wealth, your capital for a prosperous life. If you identify as a light worker, this shedding process takes on an even deeper dimension. Your purpose isn't just personal growth, you are a beacon guiding others through these transformative times. For you to serve effectively, it's crucial to maintain your light. The lighthouse can't guide ships if its light is dimmed by fog. Staying true to your essence is your gift to the world. 
By stepping away from negativity, you gain the perspective needed to guide others. You stand as a testament to the transformation that is possible, showing people not just a better way but the way to a higher, more harmonious reality. In a world that's often loud, chaotic, and overflowing with distractions, have you ever felt a magnetic pull towards nature? Like an inexplicable urge drawing you towards the forests, mountains, or oceans? The very elements that have cradled life since the dawn of time are calling out to you, and there's a profoundly spiritual reason for this pull. Nature knows your soul, and it knows you're here to participate in something greater, a collective shift into a new Earth, a 5D reality. It's not just about the scenic beauty, it's about the inherent wisdom that resides in every leaf, every stone, every wave. So why does nature call you? It's not just for a refreshing break or a stunning Instagram post, it's an invitation to tap into your innermost self, to align with your purpose, to heal, and to grow. Mother Earth knows the unique light you bring to the world and wants to help you shine brighter. Whether you're experiencing moments of introspection by a tranquil lake or finding clarity on a mountain summit, nature serves as a cosmic tuning fork. It recalibrates your frequency, helping you align with higher vibrations and deeper wisdom. If nature's call resonates deeply within you, it's a sign you're not just a visitor, you're a guardian, an earth keeper. You're being summoned to contribute to the planet's shift into a higher state of being. Your interaction with nature isn't a one-way transaction, but a symbiotic relationship. As you gain peace, wisdom, and healing from the Earth, your energies also nourish the planet in return. So the next time you feel the pull to wander into a forest or to sit by a lakeside, remember, you're not running away from the world, you're diving deeper into your purpose. You're not just a part of nature, you're a part of its future. A future that promises a harmonious blend of spiritual ascendance and earthly beauty. In the end, there's no greater gift than love. As you align more closely with nature and nurture a bond with the earth, you'll find that another type of relationship also calls for your attention's soulful connections.